good morning. I like you to know that whenever I do a sharing, it's always from my experience and from the things that I learned along the way. Am I right? There's no right or wrong answer in all situations. Now, I was just reading one book about uh, how we are today is what we have been fed, fed during the years of growing up. A lot of uh, people are being boxed into a perception that they can only do certain things, that they are only good at certain things. Now, I want to ask you a question. Do you think it's the right answer? Think about it. What makes me say this? I feel many times in my life, and I'm still feeling. Does it really destroy me? I know that it won't as long as I learn from those mistakes and I encourage mistakes to happen. So, when you are growing up, are you given, given the opportunity to grow up the way you want with guidance and also, um, you know, love? A lot of people found out later in their life that they don't know why they live. And that is sad. I think, I used to think that I am born to be a contributor because my family was extremely poor. And am I rich now? No, richness don't come from just the monetary value. It comes from keep growing up and keep learning. And you will have enough. I spoke about abundance sometime back. If you want to watch and if it relates to you, you go back and watch. Because I do not sell anything on my video except helping, helping some friends to promote which in some ways, people think that I'm selling. No, I don't sell. I don't sell at all. But my sharing is genuine. And I hope whoever needs some uh, experiences or other thing that is uh, needed, they when they watch my video, they know how to think for themselves. They know who will help them and how they can move on. Now back to how I live my life. In the, I was born in the 60s, so you know how old I am. And I'm not afraid to, to tell you my age or so, if you want to know. I was born where children are, uh, children are taught to be teachers, lawyers, or doctors. Is it bad? No, it's just not for me. So, I also learned from many people that some of them fall into the category of complacent or compliant in other words. If they are being bombarded daily that they should be something, they lost their opportunity to think for themselves and fall into the life that is designed for them. I'm not saying that it's not good. And I'm not saying that it's bad. It is all up to the individual to decide. But as for me, I always want to be different. I always wanted to be myself in a way that I am. So what I learned is from what I don't want to see when I liars with anybody. I learn from my mother what I don't want to be. I learn from my people and my friends how I can grow. And I learn to understand what makes people 
don't want to grow. Is it their fault? No, I don't say it as a fault. I will see it as a system that was cultivated long before we were born. So in your subconscious mind, you already have an SOP of who you should be. And how to break that SOP takes a lot of guts and a lot of failure. I fail many times in my life and I'm still failing. Does it make me sad? Do I look sad? No, in fact, it makes me happier because I learn faster. I have lost too many years regretting what I have not done. So I have put that behind me. And once a while the dream come back and I evaluate my dreams uh, because I know how to do so and see what it tells me. And life is always better. So when you are in the same path or maybe similar path along some of my sharing take some time off do a list of what you like to do and how you want to do it and who can help you the journey is long but make it a wonderful and awesome life cheers